Welcome once again to Manga Mondays, the only manga review show that consistently has more Yuri on it than any other manga review show on the internet. I dare you to challenge that one. Uh, and we're going to talk about After Hours, a Yuri manga that I was really quickly way into. In fact, I just like burned through this volume. Helps that it's, it's pretty fucking thin, but... I went through it pretty fast because I was immediately charmed by it. This is a story about these two girls, um, one of whom is 30 and the other who is 24, which has a lot to do with why I enjoyed this because we've got some very adult characters here. Um, it opens with the main character, this blonde girl, going to a club with a friend who quickly abandons her to go out with some guy. And she's not really into the club life. She's not really feeling it. But then this girl comes over, this one, and is like just hanging out with her, being kind of flirty and fun, and she just really likes this girl immediately. So they end up going back to her place, and they fuck in chapter one. It's fucking great. Uh, and the two of them just kind of start hanging out, and they just seem to click exceedingly well. They really like each other, and like their personalities seem to complement each other. It's not entirely clear what she sees in her, but it's very obvious what she sees in her. So, uh, yeah, they hit it off really well. And the, uh, the, the black-haired girl is a DJ. She actually works for the club. And basically she starts getting blonde girl involved in her club activity. <laughs> I didn't think about that phrase before I said it. <laughs> what that usually means, and I'm talking about manga, but no, they're going to a club as in a, a nightclub. Um, and she basically tricks Blonde Girl into being a VJ at the club, which she, of course, ends up enjoying a lot. Now, Blonde Girl is basically a an unemployed, um, you know, college... Dr I don't know if she was a dropout. She went to college, but she dropped out of whatever job she was doing. She was, like, in a computer, some kind of computer science work. And uh, she wasn't for her, so she dropped out, and she's just kind of floating through life. DJ Girl, meanwhile, seems to be at least fairly successful for the time being. She's part of this clique, and she's kind of assimilating Blonde Girl into it. And so we mostly see from Blonde Girl's perspective as she gets swept up in this charismatic other girl's uh, life and like ends up becoming a part of her clique, sort of. And, uh, yeah, it's very fast-paced. I mean, I, as I said, they hook up in fucking Chapter 1, and the direction it seems to be heading in is that Blonde Girl is trying to uh, end up moving in with Black Haired Girl, is what she's hoping to do. And as it goes on, we find out some more about their, you know, their histories and what's going on in their lives, and there's definitely a lot of places where conflict can arise between these two. Um, we can, there's a strong possibility Black Haired Girl will get Blonde Haired Girl into something that she might not be comfortable with, or that Blondie here, who, uh, has a secret about her own living situation that is pretty unresolved is uh, is going to blow up in their faces possibly but what interests me the most about this is just the age difference between the characters it's about a 30 year old and a 24 year old which is a very interesting age difference because those six years comprise a time between when you are fresh out of college and not sure what you're going to do with your life to up to um, you know probably having figured things out a little bit and uh, it's interesting to see those two characters in a relationship, especially because it just reminds me a lot of me and my girlfriend, because I'm 26 and she's 22, she's fresh out of college, well, finishing up college and not sure where she's going from there, I'm in a weird artistic job that I've been roping her into playing a part in, and, uh, you know, have my own clique of friends who I do things with, so... Let's just say I was seeing a lot of shades of my relationship in here hooked up really quickly and strangely worked well together to the point of trying to move in extremely fast. This this felt weirdly reflective for me, you know, um, which is especially cool to see in a Yuri manga because you know, well if 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 I'm gonna read a romance, it might as well be girls. Like it doesn't have to be a guy for me to relate to it. So, you know. Um, also, she happens to be a huge music fan with a giant record collection. The artwork's pretty cute. There's, um, there's nudity, but not, you know, like, they never show nipples, but, like, they will show the girls naked. They just don't have nipples, which I'm okay with. I don't need there to be, I don't need there to be nipples for me to appreciate the nudity. I'm just glad that the characters are naked around each other. I appreciate that, you know? 
I just, I'm okay with the implication of fucking. I don't, it doesn't have to be porn. I just want to know that my characters fuck. That's all I want. I just want my characters to fuck and to have, to, to be sexually open and be willing to be naked around each other. Um, so yeah, this is some interesting shit. Uh, I like the dynamic between the characters. I like the really fast pace. It slows down a little towards the back end of the volume as it starts to, like, sort of start hinting at things that are going on in the characters' lives as opposed to just rattling through, like, what's going on as we go. I don't know how long this series is. I suspect it's not too long just because it moves so quickly. I would hope they don't drag it out, like, too much. But I would like to get more into these characters. Like, at first, I was mostly enamored with, like, the facts of what was happening and it's only as it goes on that the characters sort of become more fleshed out and the relationship takes on a little bit more nuance and i'd like to see that uh continue going forward and to see what kind of troubles might spring up in their relationship but um overall this is really cute really fun and i really like it and i'll definitely be buying volume two and i definitely recommend it if you're a yuri fan um it's a bit on the short side but it's only 10 bucks which is like the cheapest that manga is now so that's cool uh, yeah, give it a read if you're looking for some new Yuri with adult characters, goddammit.